on this, boys. I want to pitch to you guys an idea. An open world anime game yeah. with unique characters in a gacha system. Yes! We already have that. And it's Genshin Impact. And I'm going to be honest. I just don't like Genshin Impact. Oh, brother. Don't get me wrong. It has its ups and downs. But I, I among other players, have felt that there's been problems that are hard to overlook that just stop people from playing. Now, that doesn't mean Genshin doesn't have a dedicated player base or fans who love the game, but there's core issues that, for years that the game's been out, hasn't been solved. I want to use the analogy of similar to when Internet Explorer was the only tool for people to use. They got complacent, comfortable, didn't really have to do jack squat. But then you had the other competition. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. Similar to the last video I did with VHS having some competition to DVD, I want to talk about Tower of Fantasy. Now, goddamn, where do I begin with Tower of Fantasy? Yeah, First off, you have the core stuff, an anime game, has gacha, it's open world, and with filled with unique characters. But it does a couple of things differently. Let me just say, the number one issue I, among many other players, have with Genshin Impact is the resin system. Now, with this being a game that's going to be on mobile as well as PC, it's more than likely going to have a resin system as well. But my biggest issue I have with it, and I'm sure others do, is that once you run out of resin, which if you don't play Genshin Impact, is your energy system, you got nothing else to do. And you need resin, as we all know, to do bosses and dungeons and get the rewards. And without it, you don't get it, which means there's no point. See, a problem I have with Genshin Impact is doing all my dailies and my quests that take resin and having nothing else to do with my friends. Oh, I have some quests I can do. Sorry, you gotta leave and I gotta go back to my own world or you gotta leave mine so I can do the quest. However, in Tower of Fantasy, you're able to play, do quests and other activities with friends. And that's amazing. As well as roaming around the world and seeing other players. Genshin is an online always game, and I feel like the fact that they really make use of this in Tower of Fantasy, being able to see and interact with other players, really takes the cake for me. But there's other things that really got me hyped for this game as well. In gacha games like Genshin Impact, when you unlock a new character in SSR, or UR, whatever ranking rarity system you have, you of course get the character, unlock him, and try him out. But Tower of Fantasy does things differently. First thing to know is, you can make your own character. And there isn't really a paywall from what I've seen with customization. You can go back and change your character as many times as you want. Except the genders, of course. You can change the hair, the skin color, eye color, and they got a booby slider too. What? A Here's where that really comes in hand. You've unlocked Nano Machine Sun. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't spread over every egg. The new SSR character. But you really like the character you designed. The way characters work in this game is you unlock the character's weapon. So you can use this SSR weapon, but you can also get the character skin. So you can make yourself that character, but you don't have to. You can still use your originally designed character, but just use yeah. the unlocked weapon on your character. So with that MMO immersion to really stand out. Sure, you can you know, show the character, show, oh, I got this character. But you can really have that diversity, especially in an MMO environment, which I think is really clever, the way that they do the gacha system. And another thing, I really love Genshin Impact Combat. There's a big problem for me. And it's probably the biggest reason, out of everything, resin. Summon rates. Stupid stuff. The biggest thing that really annoys me are the quests. Let me show you right now for you give it up. Now Genshin Impact has a beautiful world. Beautiful music. Oh, I love the music. I could just be in Genshin and just listen to music and admire the scenery and the time and effort that the devs put in. It's a great game. But when I come back to Genshin and I, you know, say do some dungeon and I enjoy the combat. 
And I see there's quests out where I could get primal gems with Here comes gems the money. Being a prime currency. Here we go. Money talk. I will do a quest. And after more than a year, quests are not skippable. <laughs> now it's funny. In China recently they added a thing where if you're under a certain age you can only play like an hour a day. So I saw some forum, but I pray for those poor souls to want to experience quest content. Because for the quest or any type of event, you cannot skip cutscenes. Damn! Now, I'm all for story just like any other player. But when I want to get to a specific event, say after a long day of work or an activity, sports, whatever, say anyone's long day of work or school, I want to play the event. And to sit through 10 plus minutes Cut 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes of them just talking, doing a hand motion, talking, and Paimon saying, I'm not emergency food, gets pretty old pretty fast. And me, being a reader, I'd rather just skip it and then just read what it's about. Get a little TL, too long didn't read. Because it really feels like, as, again, as a player, my time isn't respected. And I, I looked at a subreddit and it's like, oh, well, you just don't appreciate the story. That's not it. Astra shelter. Area code. Hey, that's pretty good. Big problem people have, there really isn't end game content. I, am going to I really suicide. like what Tower of Fantasy is doing, where even already they're addressing them. Tower of Fantasy has a bunch of you of different end game content. Again, you could do dungeons together you could do story quests from maybe not story but you could do quests together with your friends which is fantastic there is a raid you have a multiplayer raid where not just four player like in genshin you have multiple people fighting this huge boss real bosses you find in this game from what i've seen you can have over like 20 people or something come over and all fight it together and you all get the rewards and it looks amazing because you get that interaction like in an mmo and you really have that amazing exhilarating feeling that you should have in an MMO. And I'm very excited for that, that I already see this end game content. Along with that, they have PVP, which is dangerous in a gacha game, mind you. It is very dangerous, but that's really cool that they have all these game modes and functions. Even they have a soccer mode. Granted, it's not a full player versus player soccer mode, but just the fact that you could kick a soccer ball into a goal against bots. That's nice to have. It's something so minute, but it's like, that's nice. Still no bitches. And mind that, Tower Fantasy has different ways to traverse the world. From jetpacks, jet skis, mounts, like a horse or a car, or a, a bike, a motorcycle. It's, it's nice. It really makes the world feel fresh. And it helps Tower of Fantasy to differentiate itself. I'm just very excited for this game because... While well, it'd be a stretch to call it a Genshin killer because Genshin's so popular and they have a really solid player base. Did you just c*** in your sister? I would be lying if I said I wasn't very excited for this game because it's- An idiot it's sandwich. fun looking, you know? It looks good, it just- I wanna get away with ninja blabbers in my Fortnite land. Players know I'm cracked, they call me Builder, Mr. Builderman. August 11th, and it's free to play. You know, free ad, I guess, but I just wanna express my personal excitement for the game because it looks really good to me but yeah boys that is my comparison on gacha on genshin impact and tower of fantasy I'll i appreciate you, you guys watching check out the discord join that because we have a tower of fantasy part uh check out the twitch because i will be streaming that and i stream basically every day so you should check out that out i got an insta tiktok where i post clips and you know, all that YouTube stuff. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. I do everything on this channel, basically. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Deuces, boys. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? And what are you excited to most in Tower of Fantasy? See you, boys. Always been bitch. Always. <laughs>